watching Let's Chat. Some of the numbers you're going to hear in a moment about how flu is spreading this season will stagger the mind, and flu season's just now really getting underway. Joining us to talk more about that, it is Willie Labonte from Quick Surge Quick Care over on the North Shore. Willie, good to see you. Great to see you. This is huge. Yes. Six and a half million people so mm -hmm. far formally diagnosed with the flu. Sure. And we're talking people numbering what, 55, 56,000 have been hospitalized, mm -hmm. and almost 3,000 people have died mm -hmm. from the flu this year, and we're just getting underway. We're just getting started. Why is the flu season so much tougher and harder this year? It's hard to say, probably multiple reasons, but I don't know if you remember back in 2017 to 2018, it was one of the deadliest flu seasons ever. Right. Then last year, it wasn't too bad, but it seemed to linger longer. But then, you know, this, this season, for some reason, it's, again, one of the deadliest again. And I think a lot of times people just get too relaxed and they don't go and get the flu shots. They just think, oh, well, you know, it's not going to happen to me. I'm healthy. And that's kind of like where the whole thing starts. And then you see what happens. And getting a flu shot, as you, uh, you pointed out um, while we were off the air, getting a flu shot is as much about protecting others mm -hmm. as it is about protecting yourself. Exactly. Explain. Well, when you get a flu shot, it doesn't just protect you, but mm -hmm. it also protects others. So even if you get the flu after getting the flu shot, for example, you're less likely to be contagious to others than if you didn't get the flu shot. Right. I, I've heard several people say this year that they got the flu shot, mm -hmm. but yet they go to their doctor sure. and they are formally diagnosed with the flu, which makes some people not very happy. But that still has its benefits, correct? Yes, it does. It does. And a lot of times, it takes about two to one and a half weeks for the flu shot to actually make you immune. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, you get the flu shot, let's say last week, you get the flu this week, well, you're not immune. Right. So that's what happens. But it will lessen the severity of the flu if you get it, provided you have the flu shot. Yes, most of the time it does, absolutely. And like I said, it, it's less likely that you're more contagious to other people, which is another benefit. All right, two questions as a medical professional. Number one, what do you do to avoid the flu? And number two, if you do get diagnosed with it, what's the best treatment? So multiple things here, I mean, it's literally common sense. I always say common sense is not common practice. <laughs> <So> <laughs> and you were right. <laughs> avoid, you know, first of all, I mean, try to avoid, if you see sick people around you, of course, try to avoid that. Wash your hands with soap and water, not just, you know. If Thorough not, washing. Yes, of course. Uh, if you see sick people, tell them to cover themselves. Tell them, hey, stay home. Especially if they come to work, just say, hey, you shouldn't be here go home. Right. Make sure that they do go to, you know, their doctor, get tested, get the medication that's properly, and, you know, just common sense things, like I said, but a lot of times we just don't practice the All common right. sense things. Part number two of that question, two. if you are diagnosed with it, sure. what is the best treatment? Well, the sooner you can get uh, a medication against the flu, the better. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you start feeling the symptoms, which are fever, kind of cough and cold, body aches, sometimes you get the nausea, the vomiting, things like that. Um, if you can get to your doctor so you can get tested as soon as possible, the better, because the sooner you start the medication, the better. They used to say, oh, three days, you know, is the maximum. After that, the medication is no longer effective. That's not true anymore. They say, hey, if you can get the medication even at five days out, it still is going to help. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the, the biggest thing. And of course, get enough rest, get enough sleep. Um, you know, eat healthy, all those things help your immune system to stay strong so you don't get sick as stay easily. Stay hydrated. Hydrated is a huge one. Hydration is a huge one because you know how you can sweat when you sure. have the flu and it's mm -hmm. just a terrible thing. Sure. And one, one more quick question. Um, you said this is on par to be one of the deadliest flu seasons ever. And we're just really getting underway. Yes. How long does flu season typically last? So usually we're, <laughs> this is staying until about uh, mid to end of March. Wow. But last year we were still seeing flu 
literally like at the beginning of June, which is one of the longest seasons ever. So hard Not to good. predict. We're hoping that, again, you know, they're saying maybe 30% uh, chance that the flu will actually peak in January or 25% that will peak in February. Wow. But all right. we're still going strong. Willie LeBon, thank you so much thank for you your so time much. and your expertise. You can get in touch with Willie at Quick Surge, Quick Care Medical. They're in the 400 block of North Market Street in the Publix Complex. QuickSurge.com is the website. Q-U-I-K-S-U-R-G. We're back with more on Let's Chat after this.